If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt the question on your own before moving on. Now in part A, when they ask what is the power loss due to resistance in the line, what we have to figure out first is the resistance in that line. And somewhat strangely in this problem, they didn't give us the resistance directly. They gave it to us in terms of 0.31 ohms per kilometer. Now that's not a usual value for the resistance, but we do know that the line is 160 kilometers long. So if we multiply the resistance per kilometer by the number of kilometers, those kilometers will cancel out and that's going to leave us with the resistance in ohms. And it turns out to be 49.6 ohms. So now we can calculate the power loss because we can recall that power is equal to the current squared multiplied by the resistance. We were given the current in the question as 1,000 amps. So we can plug that in for the current and then the 49.6 for the resistance. Now you're going to get a rather large value for the power. It turns out to be 4.96 times 10 to the power of 7. And then the unit for power is watts. If the question wants you to change it into megawatts, then all you have to remember is that 1 megawatt is equal to 10 to the power of 6 watts. And so when you perform that conversion, you should get approximately 49.6 megawatts. Hopefully we can squeeze that in on the screen there. So that's the correct answer to part A. Now, to solve the question in part B, we actually have to figure out how much total power the entire station is producing. And for that, we can use a slightly different formula. We have the current multiplied by the potential difference. And the reason we want to use that formula is because we are given the potential at the power station. So we're going to take that potential and the current that it is outputting in order to calculate the power produced by the station. Notice that for the potential, because it was given in kilovolts, we have multiplied by 10 to the third to convert it into volts. Now this works out to 7 times 10 to the power of 8, and that would be in watts again. That's a rather large number. Why don't we convert it into megawatts again? 1 megawatt is 10 to the power of 6 watts, and so we end up with 7 times 10 to the power of 2 megawatts. Now that's the total power produced by the station. To figure out the fraction of power lost, we simply have to take the power that was lost in the line and divide that by the total power produced by the station. Now, of course, we have both of these values, so we can plug in. And when we compute this, the megawatts will cancel out. We get approximately 0.071 as the fraction. If we wanted to convert that into a percent, we would just move the decimal over two times to the right. So that's going to give us approximately 7.1%. So in other words, 7.1% of the power that's produced by the station is lost in the line. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you could stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.